In this second example with the drag and drop assembler series, we will see the collection used for instructional purposes. I've loaded 3D data of a circuit board. The top parent and ignore conventions have already been followed. This data set presents us with a few new issues. To provide the engine with a means to identify a correct drop, the target object is still in the seam with its opacity turned to zero. This being the case, high profile objects or assemblies such as the heat sink and the large blue capacitor could conceivably block drops on other objects. For this scenario, we will create proxy objects for the drop area and name them the same name as their counterparts but prefixed with the word proxy. We'll drop in order up and get started. The next issue can be seen with the chipset, thermal grease, and heat sink. Even using a low profile proxy object, the occluded objects will never be found. For this, I've created the reveal widget. As the target object is uncovered, we will use the reveal widget next. It records the previous object as the object that occluded the current object. The rest of the objects are pretty straightforward. Just drop the regular widget on them to add them to the assembly process. If I make an incorrect drop, I can use the erase widget to undo the previous drop. Note that I've created images for the parts using the icon naming convention so they can be recognized and used automatically. Another thing you may notice is that any object that has an increment of the same name is considered to be an identical object. There are several small capacitors, but only one icon is added to the list. An internal tally is kept so that the program knows when they have all been used. Looks like we're ready to start. If at any time I can't remember what goes where, I can click Show Complete and begin again. Observe that incorrect drops are tallied as well as correct drops. Here I've noticed an alpha draw order issue. I'll stop the scene and drop in the auto alpha sort toggle smart object to fix it. Click play and continue with the task at hand. For further information on using the Smart Object series, be sure to check out the documentation.